Good afternoon. Welcome. It's great to be back at CES and so great to see all of you here in Vegas and for all of you who are joining us on the webcast. Let's start 2020 with the laptop. And so in 2020, we will be introducing the best laptop processor ever built. So I'm very happy to say that today at CES, we're going to launch the third generation AMD Ryzen 4000 mobile processors. You know I love showing off chips. So this is the very first 7 nanometer x86 mobile processor. And in this form factor that fits into ultra thin laptops, we have eight cores and 16 threads in a very, very, very powerful device. Let me tell you what I mean when I say this is disruptive performance. What we've done with the third gen Ryzen and the Ryzen 4000 series is we've created just that jump. So you will see Ryzen 4000 series over a number of different um, markets and form factors. So this is the Ryzen 7 4800U. And what you see is it has eight Zen 2 cores, 16 threads. It goes up to 4.2 gigahertz. It has eight Radeon cores. So they're based on our Vega architecture but they actually have 59% more performance than the previous generation. And that's all the design optimization that's been done. And all of this fits in a 15 watt envelope. What we're comparing against here is the competition's latest generation, 10th generation Ice Lake in 10 nanometer. The Ryzen 4000 series is higher on single threaded performance. It is 90% higher on multi-threaded performance. So when I say it's simply the best laptop processor that's been built, I think I've shown it in these numbers. One of the important things, obviously, for the laptop market is battery life. And what you can see is more than double the power efficiency. So Lenovo this morning actually uh, launched their Yoga Slim 7. This is the world's thinnest and lightest eight-core laptop it actually has the flagship Ryzen 7 4800U. It's less than 15 millimeters thick. I'm very happy to announce today that in the first quarter of 2020, you'll see over a dozen designs with our Ryzen 4000 series. And you can expect over 100 designs across ultra thin gaming as well as commercial throughout 2020. We're very, very excited that this January, the FreeSync, the FreeSync ecosystem is growing to over 1,000 displays. These displays range from 1080p to 4K and cover price points from $89 to $4,000. With such an enormous ecosystem, we would like to help customers navigate the retail and e-tail options. We're showing three designations. First, FreeSync for a tear-free and stutter-free experience all gamers need. And then AMD FreeSync Premium, which designates support for um, high refresh monitors at 120 hertz and higher, and also support for LFC, low frame rate compensation. And then finally, we have the AMD Premium Pro. This adds HDR support. And today, we are excited to welcome the newest member to the 5000 series. Please help me welcome the Radeon RX 5600 XT. The Radeon RX 5600 XT is the ultimate 1080p gaming card. It's built on RDNA, has 36 compute units, a, a game clock of 1,375 megahertz and a boost clock of 1,560 megahertz. It's configured with six gigs of GDDR6. Looking at three very popular esports titles, Apex Le Legends, Fortnite, and World of Warcraft, you can see that the 5600 beats the competition. When can I get one and how much is it gonna cost? We are very excited that from all of our AIB partners, the 5600 will be available January 21st for $279 worldwide at all of your favorite retail and e-tail sites. We are also excited that the 5600 is going to be coming to mobile. 
In the first half of 2020, we're working with our OEM partners to launch the 5600M and the 5700M to Notebook. I'd like to introduce you to the Ryzen 7 4800H processor. I made a pretty big claim, right? Desktop caliber performance for gamers and creators in a notebook processor. Eight cores, 16 threads, a higher base clock speed than the 4800U that Lisa spoke to you about. So what's really remarkable about the 4800H is that it's delivering even faster performance than a desktop processor. And it's doing it at 45 watts. So this is the brand new Asus Zephyrus G14 notebook. It's going to have the latest AMD Ryzen 4000 series processors, of course. But the form factor is pretty remarkable. Only three and a half pounds for all of this performance. Over 10 hours of battery life and a sub 18 millimeter Z height. Probably my favorite feature about this product is what you'll see on the backside. They even have the ability for it to respond to music that's playing on the notebook. So make sure to look out for this in, uh, in February of this year. We created kind of like a, a virtual super APU, if you will, by bringing the discrete graphics into the equation and shifting the power from the CPU to the GPU so that it overclocks that graphics card when necessary, and then vice versa when CPU intensive workloads require extra CPU performance. It's something that we call smart shift. It does it seamlessly to the operating system, and it does it very, very quickly. We're still in development, and these are preliminary results, but in the Division two, in just our early development, we're already getting over 10% performance improvement when you turn on SmartShift. Now, the key thing to remember about this technology is it's basically free. You don't have to increase the form factor of the notebook. You don't have to give it more thermal capacity. You don't have to buy a higher bin of the CPU or the GPU to get this 10% performance uplift. You just have to design it in from the get-go. It's turned on, and you get the 10% performance improvement in the same form factor as a notebook that doesn't have it enabled and that isn't gonna be getting the performance benefits. That you're gonna be able to get your hands on SmartShift, as well as the brand new Ryzen 4000 Series H processors and the Radeon 5600M graphics that Laura spoke to you about in Q2 of this year with this brand new Dell G5 Special Edition laptop. And we're gonna be including power, a power profile in here to give you that better battery life while you're gaming and while you're content creating. So I'm really happy to announce today the third gen Ryzen Threadripper 64 core processor, our 3990X, the very first 64 core processor in the mainstream, in the desktop form factor. 64 cores, 128 threads, up to 4.3 gigahertz boost, 288 megabytes of cache, all for 3990, which is exactly what you would expect. I actually need three screens to show you what you can do here. So what you're seeing here is a uh, demonstration. We're actually comparing the uh, Ryzen 3990X uh, to two Xeon Platinum 8280s. So this is the top of our competition's server stack. It actually retails for about $20,000 uh, for the pair of processors. And what we're showing is a popular rendering application. So this is V-Ray. The Threadripper 3990X is much faster. That same workload, if you are doing it on the top of the line server products today, will take 30% more time. And that means an hour and 30 minutes. We are extremely excited to complete our third generation um, Ryzen Threadripper. And what you'll see is globally we will have um, 3990X on shelf February 7th, so just a few weeks away. Our goal will be to continue pushing the envelope in high performance. Have a wonderful CES, and thank you very much for joining us today.